Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about integration. So now I will show you how to answer. We have the formula in here. The integration of s to the power of n dx. We have s to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 and I will put about c. Now we can apply the formula in here and here. So you got about number 3 over 3, s square over 2 and I will put the bounds from 0 and number 2. So I will put number 2 going here and number 0 going here. So we have the final answer. So I will put number 2 in here, number 0 in here. And we got the final answer. We have negative number 4 over 3. And this is the final answer. Now let's go to the next one. So I will put number 2 in here and negative number 2 in here. And now we have the final answer. That is about 20. The next one, the square root of s, that is about s to the power of 1 over 2. So the integration of this one, we have s to the power of 1 over 2 plus 1 over 1 over 2 plus 1. This one we have 3s square over 2. And I will put the bounds from 0 to number 4. So we put the number in here. So we calculate about this one. We have 88 over 3 and this is the final answer. The next one. So we calculate about this one and we got negative number 2 and this is the answer for this one. Now for the next one we can use about integration by substitution. So I will put about u equal to side x. Later that you got about cosine s dx. After we do first the derivative of side s. Next, I need to change the bounds. When s equals to b over two, so I will put b over two going here. So we have u equals to number one. When s equals to number 0, we put number 0 in here. Oh, sorry, that's the about b, not 0. When s equals to b, so we put b going here. 
so u equals to number zero now this one we have number one this one we have number zero psi s we change by u this one we change by the u the integration of u we have u square over 2 and I will put the bounds from 0 to number 1 or from 1 to number 0 and now we have the final answer so we put number 0 in here number 1 in here so we have negative 1 over 2 and this is the final answer now let's go to the next one the integration of psi s we have negative cosine s and i will put the bounds from 0 to b and now we have the final answer so we calculate about this one so we have number six this one this is about identity number four that's about two square so this one i can transform into s minus two s plus two so i will put number four on numerator and denominator so number four that is about two plus two next i will put s in here later that we need to put negative s next this one we can do about factorization so this one divide by this one this one divide by this one so we have 1 over s minus 2 minus 1 over s plus 2 and now we have the final answer the integration of this one we have ln of the absolute value of s minus 2 the integration of this one we have ln of the absolute value of s plus 2 and then I will put the bounds from 0 to 3 over 2. And now we have the final answer. So I will put 3 over 2 in here. And number 0 go in here. So ln number 2 minus ln number 2, they cancel because this is about 0. This one, we have ln 1 over 2. And ln of 7 over 2. This one, we can apply the formula in here. LNA minus LNB equals to LNA over B. So, if we apply this one, you got about LN of 1 over 2 divided by 7 over 2. Now, if we simplify we got about 1 over 7 and this is the final answer the next one the integration of the s over s we have ln of the absolute value of s and i will put the bar from e to 4 
we know that L and E that is about number one and this is the final answer the next one we know that B over 3 to P with 1 plus cosine S you always got the positive in here so we have the formula cosine 2A equals to 2 cosine A square minus 1 so cosine S we can transform into number 2 multiplied by S over 2 now capital A that is about S over 2 now we need to transform this one into this one one minus one we can solve the square root of this one we have the square root of number two and we have cosine of s over two now the integration of cosine of s over two we have number two in here side of s over two because 1 over 2 is about coefficient of s. If we do this integration, we need to have 1 divided by coefficient of s. That's why 1 divided by 1 over 2, and you got about number 2. Now, we put the bounds. And we have the final answer. So I will put this one going here, this one going here, and now we have the final answer. So we have 2 with the square root of number 2 minus the square root of number 2. So this one, you got about the square root of number 2, and this is the final answer. The last one, we need to use about integration by substitution. So I will put about u equals to s squared plus 4. Later that we do first derivative for the both sides. And we have to ask the ask because we don't have number 2. So we need to divide both sides by number 2. Next, we need to change the bounds when s equals to negative number 1. So I will put negative number 1 going here. We have 1 plus 4, we have number 5. When s equals to number 2, we put number 2 going here. We have 2 square plus 4, we have number 8. So this one we change by u. Ask the ask we change by this one. Negative number one we have positive number five. Number two we change by eight. The integration of this one we have ln of the absolute value of u, and we put the bounds from number 5 to number 8 and now we have the final answer so we put number 8 going here number 5 going here and now we have the final answer this is the end thank you for watching